daybreak on the beautiful Morella Explorer. And after several hours of delays due to late arriving passengers, the ship finally departs for Palermo, Sicily. And after a long travel day and a late night, I'm heading back to bed. And after a couple of hours sleep, the old stomach was rumbling, so it's time to head to the buffet to grab some breakfast. The buffet on board this ship is absolutely massive, and if you'd like to see more, you can always check out my ship tour. But even before getting here, I knew exactly what I wanted, and that was going to be the full English. And due to the size of the buffet, I never felt cramped or rushed when selecting my food. My only slight complaint was that the scrambled egg was a little bit runny, but apart from that, this was spot on. And I will say that sea days are actually my favorite days on any cruise. I never pay for a Wi-Fi package. This is just time for me to chill out and relax. And as I had a balcony for a change and the weather was really good, I did absolutely nothing this morning. And it was just so nice, especially for somebody who's chronically online. Another big part of cruising, and especially on sea days, is the eating. So I headed down to latitude 53, which is the main dining room on board the ship, for a spot of lunch. And for those with dietary requirements, the menu had a good choice of vegan, vegetarian and gluten free options. I went for the chicken and rice soup for starters, which was a new one on me, but it was very tasty followed by the granary prawn sandwich and chips, which was delicious. And then I had the warm peach tart with ice cream for dessert. I really do appreciate the main dining room lunch on sea days. I then went to the very rear of the ship to check out these amazing aft views. I then headed inside to the Squid Nanker for an afternoon of quizzes and bingo. These events are incredibly popular, so if you'd like to get a seat and a table, I highly recommend getting here at least an hour beforehand. Unfortunately, we didn't win either contest. And by this time, I was starting to get a little bit peckish again. So I decided to go to Vista, which is the onboard complimentary Italia restaurant. And if you're thinking that this restaurant looks familiar, Vista is actually part of the Latitude 53 main dining room. The choice on the menu was fantastic. And I'll be honest, there were several dishes that I wanted to try. And it was also vegan, vegetarian and gluten-free options. And of course, there was a wide selection of Italian wines and wines from around the world. Out first came the olives and the oil, followed by the bread service. We tried a couple of the starters. This is the melon and palm ham, And this is the pork and beef meatballs, which came in a delicious white wine sauce. And just because Morella is an all-inclusive cruise line, it doesn't mean that they don't have options if you'd like to pay just that little bit extra. And one of those items just happens to be here in the Vista restaurant, which is their famous Parpadelli Carabinara, which is the pasta, eggs, bacon and cream tossed in a Parmigiano Reggiano wheel. The dish tasted absolutely amazing. Obviously, this is something you'd only have once as there are so many other delicious choices on the menu. And another great choice is the sirloin steak, which comes in a rosemary, garlic and olive oil marinade. And for dessert, we tried the amazing chocolate brownie pudding and a selection of Italian cheeses with bread and crackers. 
I felt that the food at Vista was excellent and very comparable to specialty dining aboard other cruise lines. And after dinner, I headed to the Broadway show lounge for complimentary drinks as you enter into the theatre. All that excitement, I decided to go to the coffee pour for an adult beverage. In the evenings, they serve a selection of coffee based cocktails which do come at a small upcharge. If it's something sweet that you fancy, there are also a selection of truffles, pralines, cakes, and macarons, all for a small upcharge. I then headed outside to watch a ship traverse through the Strait of Messina between Italy and Sicily. It's a narrow strip of water that is less than two miles wide at its narrowest point and separates the Tyrian and Ionian seas. And not making it any easier were the very high winds that we were experiencing. And here you can see just how narrow the gap is. And due to the element of risk, a local pilot is brought on board each ship to help guide it through the narrow strait. With rocks on one side and strong currents on the other, it led Greek poet Homer to describe the choice Odysseus was advised to take, which was the rocks as to lose a few sailors into the whole ship in the whirlpool, which became the proverb to take the lesser of two evils, which is just a little something for all you Greek mythology fans. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on, I have lots more travel videos to come.